This isn't life! Hello, hello, hello. Hi, what? Boys. How's it going? How are we? I've turned off my uh, my radio voice this week. Um, am I loud enough, actually? Just yeah. double checking. You so sound I fine. Like you, this all the time. Okay. You sound like you've got a bit <laughs> of a. You sound, sound like you got a bit of a cold. You're right. No, I'm fine. I'm fine. Bit, was you out last night on the old Colombian no. marching powder? <laughs> <laughs> I don't do any of that, mate. I've actually no. never done that. No, and I, I know you told me that many times, and I, I respect and loathe you in equal amounts. <laughs> <laughs> Why is that? Because of no, course I you've don't... never done it either. No, well, allegedly. Um, allegedly, I, yeah. I did. Someone did tell me to smell some once, and I did. But um, other than smell that, some. <laughs> no. Um, what does it smell like? Petrol and asshole, probably. <laughs> allegedly. <laughs> allegedly. Oh, no. Um, That's no good, is it? No, I don't know. Um, but yeah, no, I respect that. Just I, if if it doesn't grow, in if it's not been tampered with, then I'll I'll give it I'll give it the right old English try. Yeah, <laughs> i.e. mushrooms yeah, can't and argue with that. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. all the natural so stuff, mate. Nothing that's yeah. been tampered with, with or made. Nothing, yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh, well, you seem to know a lot about it. <laughs> oh no, no, I don't know anything about it. No, I don't know at all. <laughs> But, um, no, matter of fact, you... I'm blind in my right eye. <laughs> I can't even see Ma- you, sir. Mama, I love you. I can't even see you, sir. <laughs> um, Alex, how you been? Yeah, yeah, all right. Um, not much going on, really. I, I just, yeah, not much going on. Obviously, there's a writer's strike at the moment. Um, oh, yeah. yeah. Is that affecting you? It is. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm currently sitting at home. Uh, same well, as a I lot of people, that. to be honest. It's the Bigfoot so, Army film from last Bigfoot. weeks. That because it, they can take what they can get now, right? Yeah. Well, well, I don't think it's that. I think it's more. Uh, so, so what I have heard, what the discussion, is, the the protest is about, is AI. So, like the likes of Chat GPT taking over and writing scripts for the writers, and they're saying, well, we don't need writers anymore. We just use use AI. Ah, oh, okay, that's interesting. Well, AI could probably write it better to be. Well, you wouldn't have mm. that human touch, would you? I suppose. No, but... and I think you need that. And um, funnily enough, uh, a show that has been uh, not aired for ten years, Futurama, came out yesterday. Did it? Oh yeah, um, you the first. Didn't you? Yeah, you I watched it. it. Uh, I won't give any away for for no no really good really good in in oh, really? this, and how they've done it because. I think if if the whole season's going to be like that, it's going to be awful. But the first episode to sort of give it that meta comedy of, yeah, we've been cancelled again, because it's their third time yeah. now. They're yeah. going to mention it a few times, aren't yeah. they? They've done it before. Yeah, the whole episode's about that. Um, oh, it's really? really? Wow. Yeah. But it's really nice to see it carry on, literally, from the last episode of 10 years ago. Is it going um, 10 years? Yeah, that's how long ago it was, 10 years. Fucking hell. Um, Man, I've but, been watching that for years. But obviously they didn't they didn't know there was a writer's show. Animation takes a long time to come into play, unless you're South Park, um, which they do yeah. on a weekly basis, I know that. But it, they actually have a bit about writers in there where Bender uh, takes over the whole writing team. <laughs> And it turns out to be not as good as the humans. Oh, so oh that's cool. They, so like they a dug satire. It yeah, Matt Groening, isn't cool. it? He knows the future. Look at the Simpsons. Oh, he does. He's a yeah, man. Warlock. How has he made are. some of those? Some of those? Yeah. Some of yeah, those story he, storyboards look. A couple of exactly times he's lucky, happened. isn't it? A couple yeah. of times he's lucky, but when he's done it that many times, there's there's something going on there. Yeah, yeah what he's got he a time know? machine, isn't he? What does he Because he's so accurate as well. Yeah, like when when Trump was coming down the stairs. Yeah, down the escalator. Down the escalator, sorry, the escalator, yeah. Yeah, there's a lot, there's a lot of, uh, a lot of stuff. Be yeah, fair. But yeah, that's, that's, yeah, that's, that's what's going on with me. Um, so not a lot at the moment. Yeah. Uh, Will, fair yourself? Enough. Um, what am I doing? What am I doing? Well, uh, I've got a little project going on. Uh, this is going to look kind of weird, but I'm got I'm making a, making a robotic hand. So Will has just showed us something out of Jeffrey Dahmer's wardrobe. Uh, yeah, it's not it's, a real hand. Well, 
It's a like, mannequin it looks, hand. It looks like it's a Hellraiser. Hand. <laughs> it looks like it looks it's like hand. it looks like something that you would have if you was in a cyberpunk world. Yeah. Yeah, I could yeah, just pop this on. Though. So how does that work then? Well, that's you know, I'm mad yet now, to find out. <laughs> it's in the very early stages. Uh, I'm just sort of drawing this... it up on CAD. You're going to get kidnapped but... by a lot of terrorists because you're so brainy and then you're going to make an Iron Man suit with the technology <laughs> you've learned today. <laughs> yeah, make it in a cave. Yeah. With yeah, wires that's... and wood. It would look yeah, like when you... Bender, <laughs> in future on, when Bender went... went uh, what's the word? He 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 wanted to throw off um, technology and like the complexity of complexities of it. So he just went to like an island and made himself all wood. Yeah, and they've got do. they've got Go all the uh, all the other robots. There's like a washing machine and that. Yeah, yeah. yeah that woman who gets going go to the ocean. She's like, I'm going to run out because she runs on that <laughs> yeah, water, that, on water. You know, like a paddle steamer kind of thing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. She's like, I'm going to run out, and then she goes in. And says, oh, fine. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> what? He's an absolute <laughs> chap. Hey? <laughs> yeah. What? What? <laughs> old times, boys. Old times. Josh, anyway, have you got uh, any good news? For us? <laughs> good news, um, everyone. Do you know what? I am. Um... God, yeah, my yeah. tract. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, brisk. Ah, <laughs> oh, brisk. <laughs> Finish? Sorry, Josh. Go on, <laughs> yeah, go on. All right. I feel um, like Josh hasn't uh, been so in, into Futurama as we are. No, no. Um, it was always like a dipping and out for me. It wasn't like uh, a, more of a family si- guy or something. Yeah, mu- yeah, absolutely family guy. Um, okay. Yeah. So if you want to quote Family Guy, I'm there. But Futurama. All right. I, I know what because that's, that's, that's <laughs> funny. But, um, <laughs> yeah. but yes, I have got some good news. Um, well, some nice means we're. This confirms that what we're doing is actually this got a point. Um, okay. So I got a message just before the pod from um, a guy I used to work with, Greg. Um, really nice guy. Um, we used to uh, we used to play a lot of Pokemon Go on the way to work because obviously we had we used to work in Chelmsford, so it's pretty sick. So yeah, shout out to Greg. Um, nice. We he messaged me. Um, on like messaged me about a post that I put out for this week's pod on Facebook and um he said uh, Matt I didn't realise this was you I came across this this week after a friend recommended it to me so that's not only is it sick that someone I know listens to the pod um before he knew somebody it was don't know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah someone I don't someone I don't know has told him about the pod which is uh Madness. which is pretty gnarly so well, we're doing out. time right yeah so finally like, we're getting the the respect we deserve, the yeah. recognition, and now, the now, recognition now I'm thinking deserve. I'll get, we'll get mad exposure now. Yeah, Greg won't, yeah. Greg won't let us down. No, no, he'll stick it on his Instagram story, won't he? He'll probably get a this isn't life tattoo. He, he might, yeah. yeah, right across his face. Yeah, he has got a few tats to be fair. So, oh. and also he might get ten percent off Dubby. <laughs> well, <laughs> he might. He heads might. over to. He, might. he heads he over might. to the website. Ten percent off Dubby. <laughs> oh so, well. Yeah, so that's nice. Yeah. yeah. Hold on, boys. I've got Joe Rogan on the phone. I'll be back in a sec. <laughs> oh, well, oh, you've got alone. a story. Oh, you? Leave me alone with you. <laughs> oh, oh, Joe, don't... Joe, we, we don't oh, do this to you. Stop calling me. We don't stop you, Joe. I can't come on. I can't come on. God's you know, sake. Busy, busy. Anyway. Got your own podcast. I don't want to smoke yeah. DMT in your little studio. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's got to go and eat children with Ellen DeGeneres. <laughs> 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 Jesus, bitch! <laughs> Ellen DeGeneres. Uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. What's that all about? What? Just f-ing horrible. F-ing. Apparently, there's a someone. Someone has got a video from her. I don't know if it was from her laptop, but it was seized, or it was. I know. I think it might be. I can't remember if it's. Something to do with Bi- uh, Biden's son. Um, something, he got intercepted anyway, this. Or John Podesta, maybe? I think it's between her and John Podesta, because he's a f- right, absolute. Have you seen the f- in artwork that John Podesta's got in his house? Mate, just Google right is. now. Google right now John Podesta artwork in his house and tell me what you see. This is legit being taken from his house. So tell me what you see. All right, okay. Every single one of them. What the f***? Oh. It, it, what is that? What were the kids? Yeah, that's in his house. 
Who who is it? He's a general secretary. Mate, he so is a general... da- he's a danger, mate. That geezer. John Podesta, mate. Sorry. He's an absolute White House deputy chief of staff. He's an absolute wrong one, mate. He's an absolute wrong one. So. Yeah, so just describe what you're seeing in the pictures for the people that haven't seen it. They need to go and look at this. This, this oh, is these are actually these are actual artworks that he has bought. Being heroin, it's like it's like kids in sort it's of. It's like, like abuse, a bathroom, isn't it? Like, yeah, or like a sexual abuse pool kind of. You know, like told war, and they're like tied up. But it's oh, all sexual, uh, isn't it? Like it's uh, bizarre, isn't it? John Podesta, mate, Google him. He's an absolute moron. In hell, yeah, there's like, but, kids t- there's like a kid tied up with his arms above his head, like in the torture position. What the fuck? Yeah, it's terrible, isn't it? It's harrowing, mate. The more you look into him, the worse it gets. So uh, basically, yeah. a pa- I think what it is, they intercepted an email between him, her and uh, Ellen Jenner and John Podesta. And a- apparently, apparently the video has been circling on dark web. There is it's a video, like this is, gets more mental. But now if you've seen any pictures, you've got an idea. There's a video of her, Ellen DeGeneres, and her her lawyer or her um, something really close to her cutting off the face of a child with a scalpel what the fuck but yeah, let's mate. just let, let's hey, just is she still doing a, a TV show and I, I, I'm not saying that, I, I'm, this is what I've looked I've done the research and I've looked into it and that's what I've, and that's, that's what keeps coming up I haven't seen the video I don't want to see it but I've seen steals of the video and like and it is if it ain't her then it is like I, I mean I, I don't know I'd but Google let's just it, go Google back it, it but let's go back into the conversation before about AI taking writers jobs there's also <laughs> the actors are also striking because of them the same sort of thing so deep fake is a thing how do we know that this isn't okay AI? okay okay here's another one for you in in Stubby films right sound of freedom Mel Gibson's directed a new film. Do you know about this, boys? Sound of Freedom? Have you seen any exposure? I'll be surprised yeah, if you've seen exposure it? to it because it's not been any exposure at all with Barbie conveniently well, coming out and Oppenheimer on the same weekend. So what it's I, about is, it's a, yeah, it's a, tr- it's a true story of ch- child sex Hollywood. traffickers, right? Yeah. yeah. So, and Mel Gibson, you know he's been blacklisted. He hasn't done anything for ages. He yeah. got blacklisted because he... This he's out in the them, 90s. There's videos in the 90s of him saying things happen in Hollywood that I have to go home and think, did that really happen? Like, it's, it's evil, yeah. blah, blah, blah. So now he's releasing this because he said, I can't. And if you, <clears throat> another good advocate is Ashton Kutcher. Hmm. He actually gave up acting to start a foundation. Yeah. I think it's called Fawn. Um, so, like, people know yeah. that this is going on. So, um, The Sound of Freedom, the, have you seen all the things on it? Go on TikTok or whatever or have a look. Is it out There's, yet? But yeah, it's come out. But every time people go and see it, there's been loads of weird shit happening. So one person has been to the cinema four times to try and see it. The first time they set the fire alarm off halfway through. The second time the audio was running out of sync with the picture. The third time they said it was fully booked, and when he went in there, there was no seats taken. And they've done everything they've. And this has happened to thousands of people across America and England. They've gone to watch the film in a small screen, and it's it's like up like the screen stopped or they've told them that the film has to be stopped like it's, it's really difficult only a handful of people have seen the whole all, all the way through and this is like a box office film yeah, yeah man it's mate honestly i'm not to trip you out and like the put it down or anything but can watch it oh i can watch it on uh i can watch it on it's on prime yeah it's on prime video oh, yeah, but you no, can't... this doesn't no. look like the same one it's only in cinema Based on true Alex. events USSR. Oh, it might be. Oh, uh, no. no. The reach of no. an impressive no. communist no. regime escalates. No. A group of rebellious no. young men start <laughs> resistance movement. <laughs> it's definitely not on jazz there. club. It's, it's only that. in um, it's only in cinemas, and that's why they're yeah. stopping people from seeing it. If you have a look, Will, and like look at the videos and stuff, people are, like in the filming and they're going, "This is the third <laughs> time you've come out in this cinema and told me three days in a row that there's something wrong with the screen." Well, I mean, it's made a hundred million pounds. I'm not saying it hasn't been shown. I'm, that. That, is, that is very weird. It is, um, they've, they, they've tried to ban it. it. He directs it. But the people in it, like, they, um, it's, um, apparently it um, reveals a lot of shit. Hmm. But they've really tried to stop it. And that's why they conveniently put Barb. Why do you think Barbie and Offenheimer are the two biggest grossing films nearly? Ever. They've smashed all their budgets. One, because they're driving it up. They can tell you anything as they want, whatever it took. Obviously, they've done well. But think of the exposure that Barbie got. 
Mm. They they run yeah. the world out of pink paint. That's how much exposure it got. So why mm. did they go so above and beyond about a Barbie movie, which in any other year probably would have flopped? Don't know. It's got a big cast, doesn't it? <laughs> no, but you know what I'm saying. It's all really weird when you think yeah. about like that. Yeah, I know yeah. I'm like high on that, but like <laughs> I do see what you mean. Yeah, mate. I'm not saying they are doing it on purpose. I'm saying it could be coincidence that like 10,000 cinemas have all had a problem with it. But it, mm. it doesn't sound that way yeah. to me if I'm a bet, if I'm a betting man. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, so, I don't even know if it's the one I'm looking at is actually... Uh, it's two... two Gibson, si- like, is this uh, the right one? Type, type in um, Sound of Freedom 2023. But yeah, you can't see in any cinemas near us because I've searched, I've searched for them. Yeah, and Ipswich not sh- is the closest one, apparently. Yeah, see what I mean? And when you go <laughs> there, o'clock. when you go there, something will happen to the screen. Because they only show one a day or whatever. It's <laughs> mate. What, why Ipswich? There's four cinemas around us now in this area that we could go to to watch it. There's two in Basildon. Hmm. It's, it's nuts, strange you're not putting it on. But yeah. yeah, but um, yeah, but I mean, I don't want to eat up more of the pod's time. But yeah, man, look, looking and John Podesta. So John Podesta, and, and that's why I made the reference to um, eating. What's that? Eating in name children. Oh, and, yeah, because uh, she's the, yeah. Is so she still that's, doing a um, TV show. Yeah, is that still going on? Really? Someone like so. that is still. You well, know, there's no there's is, no depth to which they won't sink, is there? But they're all in cahoots, mate. Aren't they? Like this is what I'm saying. And, like, and why? I mean, we know that she's an awful person, don't we? That that's all come out, isn't it? Yeah, she's. I can't quite remember what she's done, but yeah. But wait until you like look into John Podesta and that. Wait until the rabbit hole that takes you down, mate. Oh, man, I don't even know if I want to go there. Mate, honestly, no. I'm I come off easy. social media to come off the internet a little bit. But that geezer is a fucking danger, and he's doing it he in plain sight, and, and no one says a word. No one, but no one says a word. It's, it's nuts, mate. Anyone else had that in their house? Your friends and your family. Ben mind he's got kids. And apparently he's like all funny with his daughter and that. Apparently, um, he um, he's got kids and like he's got that hanging in his house, in his main house where he lives. And like people, like president, he's a presidential like president goes around there and people of that standing, and he's got that, and no one says yeah. a word, no one says a word to him. So what has he got on other people? Makes you wonder, doesn't it? Fucking nuts, isn't it, mate? But um, yeah, sorry. <laughs> well, so, this, so is that is, is this is this life? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll have to wait and see, won't we? Can hope not. Yeah. Anyway, um, so, should we? Um... Sorry, Will. That's <laughs> all right, mate. I've I, I, I've I've got this story. Uh, I I find it quite interesting. So, but it is off of a tatty tabloid newspaper. So, um, I'll read the headline, and then Please. you can let me know what you think. Bloke trapped in cave for 17 days suffered worst death possible as 50,000 people watched. Uh, what? Yeah. Again? Damn. I mean, this, this, this hits me different because there's something about caves and people who go in them that I think is totally <laughs> oh, mental. Oh, saying that, have you watched, I don't know if you've got TikTok, I'm not behind, I'm not four years behind, but there's a people, you know, people who do look at cliff um, cave climbing and they yeah. get through tiny little gaps like that and they like yeah, squeeze the... mate, I mean, I'm obsessed mate. I'm actually obsessed with them it makes me feel sick but it is nuts mate they get through gaps you... that are like S-bends but you can just about get your body in there it's, it's horrendous have you seen though have you seen that film I think we might have talked about it before is it 13 yeah 13 lives the one about that 13 lives yeah it's got Viggo Mortensen in oh, and no, uh, Colin, Colin Farrell yeah, it's uh, on. So I think it's an Amazon original. Oh, it's I watched about it. About the kids, you know? I watched the kids it who went. We well, we definitely spoke oh, about. It. I think oh, yeah, sorry. Think, yeah. yeah, the football. You were like, the football you were saying team. about the. <laughs> who yeah, you were saying about the football coach. Okay. Where the f- <laughs> takes him in there? <laughs> yeah, but there's that bit where um, where he one wrote, of the he, um, he him all. <laughs> 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 Yeah, we know. <laughs> <laughs> and Mel yeah. Gibson said, "This is enough. Is enough now." <laughs> this, this happened. Yeah. All thirteen of them, where greedy they, bastard. Where they got where they got stuck between two rocks. <laughs> yeah, but there, yeah. Was a, there was a coach at the front and a coach at the back, oh. trying to get them through. It was terrible. <laughs> uh, that bit might need to be cut. <laughs> anyway, all right. Yeah, before I go off on another tangent, I was just going to say there's a bit in there as we get stuck underground and uh, in the cave, and then he. His oxygen line goes as well, and you just 
drowns there and you're like, oh, mate. Would you not cope well really in a game. cave wheel, no? No. You're not good with tight not, spaces? Not in, a, no, not in not tight either. spaces like that. But who is good in tight spaces? Do you know what I mean? Well, it's not cave, where you're them, supposed to be. Them cave people, they love it, mate. And they, honestly, the bends are like S-bends. And the kid's like 13. And he can he, he has to take off his... his one bit, he gets stuck. So he has to take off his coat. But he's like no room to undo his zipper. That's so he has to, rig- he has to, and I'm like, you are. Why can't they get a Rubik's cube or something? Yeah, that's insane. Or, yeah, oh no, you're did, right. But did do you see that documentary the other week uh, on TV? I'm not sure if it was like Channel Four. It was about free diving. Oh, that's sick, free diving. That they had cool, for yeah. so long, mate. Yeah, that's the nuts. guy. That's so mad. the guy had it all planned out, and there's a place somewhere in the ocean uh, called the Blue Hole. There's a lot of it. Um, yeah. Uh, but it's called the Blue Hole, and the Blue Hole is like the most dangerous, but also the most sought after free diving place. Oh, it's a cave, isn't it? It's like a yeah, it's kind of like a cave. Why yeah. is it dangerous to free dive there? Oh, like thirteen people have drowned because of currents, right. I think, underneath, oh, and you can just get okay. pulled into caverns and stuff, and then that's it. Uh, yeah, right. but they You're they out. had it all planned out, and um, the guy was like, "Look, you're gonna go at this time, then I'll come down with you." Blah blah blah. And for some reason, he just said, I need 20 seconds more. So this woman's down there for an extra 20 seconds before he goes under to lift her up. Why? He's like, I need... I need uh, no one knows, right? He's like, I need 20 seconds more. And he won't answer why. And then he goes down and uh, he saves her, but he, he actually ends up dying and, and drowning there. And, um, but, but he saved her life. My thinking was that he wanted to kill himself. So he should have taken 40 seconds then if he only thought he only needed 20. Well, no, because he'll kill her. In hell of a way to go. Drowning is one of the worst ways to no, die. No, no, apparently it's not. Apparently drowning is the most peaceful way to die, so they say. I seriously doubt that. Do you know why? I, do, you know, oh, do, you know, do you know why? Why? I yeah. think because you, when you finally panic and swallow all the water, uh, surely I'd rather drown than be burnt alive. Yeah. Nah. Well, what, yeah, will, maybe, maybe, will, surely. maybe compared to that, compared to that, surely yeah. I'd rather I'd rather drown than be shot and bleed to death or stabbed. But drown is like, like you would be there for a minute, or a minute or you could be there for a minute or two before your brain can like loses oxygen. That bit would out. be panic. That bit would be panic for sure. But I think once that, I don't even think it's the panics. Out. Like, like you, you. I mean, yeah, probably the panic. Because you just take on so much water. But you, as soon as you can't anymore, physically can't hold it, your body goes into convulsion, you open your mouth, and you'll take on so much water so quickly, you you would... I, I don't know whether you... You must just drown so quickly because you wouldn't be able to breathe at all. Mm, you just, imagine being a submariner, man. Like in the Kursk or something. It's sick, though, being a like, um, scuba diver and that, like it. There's a really good film with, I think it is Ashton Kutcher actually, shout out Ashton Kutcher again. Um, the Guardian. Yeah. Have you seen that oh, film? No. Man, it's, oh, it's, got, it's got him in it. It's got like a really old actor in it as well. It was like, like quite famous or really famous. It basically, he's um, this old guy runs the, you know, the air sea rescue. He, he runs the, um, the academy and his kid comes in. He's like a champion swimmer and he like, breaks every record. Like he break, he holds his breath for long. This guy holds all the records, and he, Ashton Kutcher comes in and breaks them all. Um, oh, right. And then they they sort of like he's well cocky in that, and they fall out, but then they become partners and really good mates. Mate, it's f-ing sick. It's proper sick film. The Guardian is called. It's well good. Okay. Fair enough, mate. Well, uh, should we, where, should we have a on? have a guess at yeah, the let's, tabloid? Yeah, let's let's get into <laughs> it. Yeah. <laughs> shall, shall I read it again? <laughs> no, no. Um... No. This podcast is sponsored by Dubby. Dubby was formulated to give you all the energies, all the focus, with no jitters or crash. Yeah, I mean, we are talking no sugars, no calories, no maltodextrin, and no artificial colours. You get 30 servings in every tub, and it comes in over eight different flavours. But you know what else is sick about them? Their merch. T-shirts, hoodies, and stickers, all on their website. Go check them out now. And when you're on the website, type in This Isn't Life for 10% off your whole basket total. I mean, he's trapped in a cave, 17 days. Yeah. Um, I mean, it refers to the first word of this, the title, or the headline is, bloke. Bloke trapped in cave. Daily Star. So, you are absolutely right. 
<laughs> only, in. only the Daily Star need, would uh, bloke. put bloke. Yeah. 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 Or the sport. It was 50-50. Yeah, yeah, sort of interchangeable. Aren't they? It's, for, it's, for the, it's for the blue collar workers, isn't it? I want to know but, how yeah. so many people watched him. Well, yeah. we'll get into that. Don't you worry. Magician. He went wrong. Ready? Yeah. Let's go. As far as unfortunate deaths go, there's some pretty grim ends, but the, ca- but the death of a caver... Sorry, let me... <laughs> Read that again. Death actually. of a caver. <laughs> death of a caver. As far as unfortunate deaths go, there's some pretty grim ends, but the death of a cave explorer was among the most agonizing possible. Kentucky man Floyd Collins started exploring caves when he was just six years old, but his long um, but his longtime hobby would lead to a tragic death after he spent 17 days trapped inside a tiny underground passageway in a dramatic tale that captured the, the attention of the nation. The 1920s in Kentucky were known as the era of the cave wars with locals inspired by the popular Mammoth Cave bitterly competing to uncover more locations for tourists to flock to. In 1917 Floyd had been thrilled to discover Crystal Cave beneath his father's farmland and soon developed it into a tourist destination. But with its remote location leading to few visitors, Floyd set, set his sights on another cave known as Sand Cave. The cave, located on the property of nearby farmer Beasley Doyle, had much more promise uh, with a location right beside Cave City Road that tourists uh, on their way to Mammoth Cave would easily access. Floyd struck up a deal with Beasley to explore the cave and share the profits it would make but while it would go on to become the huge tourist attraction he'd hoped for, it came at the cost of his life. On January 30th, 1925, Floyd entered the cave for the first time, carrying nothing but a single kerosene lantern. Inside, he found a series of tight passageways. (laughs) What, a kerosene lantern? I'm assuming he's going to have to get in water at some point, is he not? No. Well, possibly. Maybe maybe that's the foresight that, um, that led to his eventual demise. Yeah, he couldn't see. The light went out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, you went two feet in the cave and fell down a hole. <laughs> I've, been, I've, been, I've been in here for years. <laughs> uh, inside, he found a series of tight passageways, including one so small he was forced to squeeze himself through on his stomach. Once he had gotten through, Floyd discovered the cave opened up just 300 feet from the entrance into the cave, an 80-foot-high subterranean coliseum, according to the Kentucky Guard, another newspaper, <laughs> I guess. But as, uh, as the but, last line... No, he was, he was a guard. <laughs> that's, that's what we call parking. Park yeah, some fellow who came with him. <laughs> the yeah, Kentucky some Guard. Some fellow brought with him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That was, that was brilliant. <laughs> oh, hell. Did you see the moment he, I finally got that? Yeah. Like that, when he's like, he got big he's like that. <laughs> like, a, like, a, like, like a box. Um, he's, got the, he's got the boneless buffalo, boneless, buffalo, boneless wings or something in a box. He's got his, uh, his family pack just to himself. Just holding it like that. Stay away. Everyone back. He's got, like ear, he's got like an earpiece in, like, yep. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like an NFL yeah. blocker. Stand yeah. there, like. Just, 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 just absolutely f- annihilated old women down the ice cream. He's yeah. through his car. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Leaves a path of just f- in OAPs in his wake. Like. That's a distraction. OAPs and sachets of Hillman's mayonnaise. <laughs> <laughs> just and, a f- and a few odd chips yeah flickers of gravy everywhere he's, he's not a fan of those new chips since they changed them like, <laughs> no, no, no. no. AC Skinner's the vegetable of the, of the... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. runs back because he's got his Vianetta <laughs> they don't do a Vianetta oh, do they? No, not anymore not anymore oh, they we, don't. Do, we do actually love you and I feel like if he was here now he would be in He'd do that really like Chinese laugh that he does. You know, when his eyes go all squinty and he like, right. he would do that now, I reckon. <laughs> oh, that was good, mate. That was sharp. That was sharp. Anyway, oh. I'll continue. Carry on. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Uh, but as the last light from his lamp began to flicker, 
he realised he needed to get out of the cave before he was plunged into darkness. As he hurried to climb back up to the surface through, he dropped his lamp. Sorry, that doesn't make. As he hurried to climb back up to the surface through the hole. No. As he hurried back to climb back to the surface through. No. No. He dropped I've his never lamp seen. I've never seen you confused. <laughs> you like you like a dog sense. when someone farts. <laughs> It does. It just doesn't make very good sense, to be honest. But I suppose I shouldn't be, I shouldn't be very uh, surprised. surprised. So yeah, yeah. Okay. So he climbed back up through. He tried to get through, and he dropped his lamp while trying to grab grab it. Um, dislodged <laughs> while trying to grab it and get through. What? Do you want to start again here? This Try to do it all in one. Rubbish. <laughs> yeah. Can okay, you, let's, let's do it again. Can you can you just confirm that it's uh. You're going to make it I'll your read own it version exactly now. as it is. <laughs> yeah, go on in. That's funnier. I will, I will read it exactly as it is, but it's shit. But don't stop. But don't stop as if you found a mistake. Keep going as if you're reading it normally. It that's funnier. Sense. As he hurried to climb back up to the surface through, he dropped his lamp and, while trying to grab it, dislodged a 27-pound rock that pinned his foot, trapping him 60 feet underground. I love you, Jenny. <laughs> Jenny. <laughs> The next day, Beasley's son, Ju- Beasley's son's, Ju- oh, Jewel, his name is Jewel. Jewel discovered Floyd stuck in the cave and a desperate re- rescue Who? effort began. Whose name's Jewel? Beasley's son. Who does that? So Beasley's the geezer who's gone there, yeah? No. <laughs> Beasley's not the guy who's gone there. Who's Beasley? Who's Beasley? If he sounds like that's Ron the guy Beasley, he made a deal with. Right. Okay. With. Right. So uh, he bet him a tenner that he couldn't go down there. No. <laughs> you right haven't been he... listening to a fucking <laughs> thing, have you? Yeah. Yeah, I have. I no, have. You been listening. No, you haven't. <laughs> they made a deal so that they they would to find space. reap the benefits yeah. of this cave that's For on tourists. Beasley's land. Right. Yeah. It's on his land. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so they found they found him a desperate rescue effort began. Floyd's brothers, Homer and Marshall, were able to reach Floyd to give him food and water, but attempts to pull him out failed as the rock continued to trap him. It wasn't long before the terrifying incident drew public attention and as volunteers turned up to help free Floyd from the grip of the cave, others merely arrived to watch the spectacle. <laughs> Sick mate. It's like it's like 127 hours <laughs> moving your whole body. You basically cut no. yourself in half with a pocket knife. <laughs> No, wait, 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 wait. I, I just want, I've got something to go on here. Right. So I saw a video today no, um, no. of... You need to get a f- job, mate. Mate, you've been on TikTok <laughs> watching people cave dive. All right. I've, I've, I've it's not worked, watching though. people caving. It's watching, watching yeah. two fellas caving. Well, it's <laughs> very relevant now, isn't it? I don't know how to get out of it. I like YouTube. Yeah, steps. this, no, this is relevant, right? So I saw a video today, um, and it was to out this, or not really out this guy, but out in the whole of society now, and how the internet works and how things go viral. And and what it was, was this guy about to take a selfie, and just as he's about to take a selfie, he's he, th- this guy has committed suicide. Oh, no, sorry, he got stabbed. This guy got stabbed. So instead of phoning the police, oh, right? Oh, yeah, I saw that. Yeah, instead of phoning the police, he's he gone onto video, insane. and he's going, oh, this guy's just been stabbed in front of me, blah, 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 blah. He's Lots. blown up. He's blown up. And now, who's worse? The fact that, as a society, we've, you know, made him famous for 15 minutes, yeah. or the that's fact that response. he just... Yeah, or well, that's his response. But then, when you come to think about it, most people would probably film it as well. And it's not a fact that already we're... filming. I'll, I, if I was already filming, and I caught it. I wouldn't. I'd go, oh shit, put my phone down. If I'd seen it, I wouldn't then carry on going. Oh, filming the geese has been stabbed. I'd, I'd call the police. So well, I think it's relevant to being. like the bystander effect. I'm a normal. That? Nah, I don't think so. That's like saying if 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 you was walking down an alley and there was two men mugging a woman, would you keep walking even if you knew you was going to no. get in anyway? No, of course you wouldn't. Because if you got home. And then you found out the next day that she'd been murdered. You left to live with that. that. That's worse. Living mm, with that yeah. is worse than getting a good idea or getting stabbed or killed. Because you're going to not have a life anyway, yeah, really, honor, after that. But, yeah. but what I'm going on... How can you there, live with yourself? Yeah, but what I'm yeah. going on is that people have come to watch him try and get out. 30,000 or whatever you said, 15,000. 
Oh people. yeah, yeah, fifty. Uh, There's fifty thousand, I think it was. Fifty thousand yeah. people have come to get watch him get out. Well, I don't know if that was all at the same time, but yeah. others merely arrived to watch the spectacle. Oh, there you Rescue go. Rescue efforts were disorganised, and arguments between locals and out of towners about the best course of action stalled attempts to save Floyd. Just standard incompetence. Another picture of that fella there as well. Um. By February 2nd, news of his entrapment began to spread and Louisville Courier-Journal reporter William Miller, known as Skeets, because he was <laughs> not much bigger than a mosquito, <laughs> arrived at the scene. He was so, not much uh, bigger than a mosquito. Name, his nickname was Skeets. I know Skeets. these caves well. If they don't call me Skeets McGeets for none. No, I imagine, I imagine he's just Gollum that's managed to infiltrate himself into normal society. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's stuck too on good. the rocks, is he? <laughs> <laughs> that is too good of a of a of a voice line for that. It sounds exactly like Gollum. Can you do it again? <laughs> <laughs> it sounds exact. That's. Are you Andy? I've, What's I've, his I name? Andy Circus. Andy Circus. Can I do it when he speaks? Uh, stupid Hobbit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what the. F yeah, man. I'll, I'll show you why. Because when Gollum first came out and I was in secondary school, I was still in between the age where I thought everything was Gollum. That was like the funniest thing to me. Gollum, Gollum, the, everything about it was like my life for like two years. <laughs> like d me and Danny, like Gollum was like, we used to call people Gollum. Oh, shut up, <laughs> Gollum. Like Gollum was, it was like, it was the one. It is, like, it we used to, is, many, yeah. many of jokes have been said about Gollum, mate, within, within the friendship circle. So I learned to speak like him because I would like I used to wear a loincloth to school and I, I only had two strands of hair. <laughs> <laughs> I only had two strands of hair. <laughs> I used to Massive eat fish for lunch. Yeah, smash, <laughs> smash fish on a rock. Like, just, like, yeah. Stupid <laughs> hobbit says. Is that why you always stand outside class? Yeah, yeah, because I was like, what the f*** <laughs> do with these kids? Yeah. I'm like, deranged. <laughs> it's mine! <laughs> Just a loincloth and his, his, uh, his tie on. <laughs> That's yeah, yeah, yeah. Carrying You've a load of book bags. you got to wear something, Josh. Come on. <laughs> yeah. yeah, man. So, um, yeah, I'm glad you like my impression. So I'm, That's my only good impression I can do. Mm -hmm. Well. Very good. <laughs> he, he called into the Dark Passage to speak to Floyd for a series of interviews that saw him later win a Pulitzer Prize for journalism. Well, there you go. <laughs> that Jesus. doesn't seem like something... I mean, uh, uh, that hardly seems like an attempt. Uh, my flashlight revealed a face on which is written suffering of many long hours because Collins had been in agony every conscious moment since he was trapped at 10 o'clock oh. Friday morning. Miller wrote, according to the Sh Chicago Tribune, Tribune. He added, I saw the purple of his lips, the pat the pallor of his face and realised that something must be done uh, before long if this man is to live. Obviously. Just just talking about him at this point, you know, turn your words into actions. That's what Obviously, I'm yeah. <laughs> and everyone can pretty much <laughs> see him anyway, can't they? There's 50, like 50,000 people there. It's like well. Queen concert at Wembley. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they would yeah, just start stamping on the back. ground like, dun, dun, tsh, dun, dun, tsh. <laughs> even, even he's going we, we yeah. will and the, the cave gives a lovely yeah. sort of don't say rock we will we. <laughs> trap you <laughs> don't <Yeah>. say trap <laughs> um, Skeets began assisting in the rescue effort uh, which saw Lieutenant Robert Burden from the special police fire rescue team fail in an attempt to pull Floyd out using a harness. Um, by the next day, it become the top story across the nation. And according to the Kentucky Guard, <laughs> Parky, <laughs> a carnival, um, a carnival atmosphere took over with people flocking to the cave to witness rescue attempts, as vendors appeared to cash in on the tragedy tragedy by selling food, drink, and souvenirs. That's mad, well, isn't it? it? That is, that's like that is in, consumerism yeah, you know, gone mad. Do you know what, though? It does remind me of a very funny, very funny scene from, from um, Life of Brian. When, he's, uh, when, he, when he walks past, he goes, rock for sale, rock for sale. And he's like, he's like oh, what am I going hey, hey, to pay you? Why am I going to pay you for a bag of rocks? I get rocks off, the rocks off the ground. He goes, these ones are sharp. I'll have 10 bags. <laughs> Got any gravel? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Mate, Joe Royce, uh, yeah. that, is, that is quite funny. It's I'm funny that someone is out there that would that wants to make a pound note 
even in someone suffering. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, but there are yeah. people like that. Uh, yeah, man, of course. There's a big industry, I suppose. I, I know it? a lot of people like that, man, and I think that's a lot where that's that that's where the biggest that's how they've got us. That's how as I don't know. As soon as currency become an actual thing, like bartering's one thing, but as soon as they made you rely, you're fully reliant on one thing. They can manipulate that one thing so easily, and obviously, obviously, currency has to be a thing. But if you can control currency, you can control anything. It's it's, it's madness. It's yeah, madness because any, anyone wants to make a buck out of anything, just to make yeah. life, just to make their life a bit easier. Yeah. Look at that. Look at that Mizzy kid. That f- idiot kid that. Oh yeah, Nick's, like didn't bro, want a what, family. Oh, bro, what oh no, prick. Name, is it? no, yeah. no, no, the kid that like Nick's dog on, t- on TikTok and that. All to get views and that, yeah. Prick, mate. Absolute prick. Yeah. So, but like, yeah, man, I'm, that, that, you know what? that don't surprise me at all. I, I no. don't actually think this, this story is that ludicrous, to be honest. No. Oh. It's just a bit, it's just, I think it's quite interesting, like, I, it, I mean, it must be quite, Difficult to get to, otherwise people would have got him out by now. But I mean, a rescue attempt. How hard is the rescue attempt? I don't know. Um, it was estimated that at times between ten thousand and fifty thousand people were present at the site, where moonshine was also readily available and sold on the sly. And the national guard was even called in for crowd control. All oh, efforts sorry. to free Floyd continued to fail and on February the 4th the rescue saw a major setback when part of the cave collapsed I mean that's f***ing terrifying that's not what you want that's not what you want especially if you're still alive yeah exactly this guy's just sitting there sitting there for 17 days a group of men attempted to dig out the collapsed rock but uh, but several days of rain rubbing off the walls by rescuers and midwinter thaw uh, and dripping groundwater led to the cave structure deteriorating further, and another collapse in the passageway separated Floyd from the rescue teams. So he's all alone now. He's in there all alone. Mm, in the dark as well. Yeah, no I think that's the least thing that worries Alex, to be honest. <laughs> well, no, because your that, mind would be do honestly, things one of the worst you. ways to go. Yeah, yeah, that has got to be one of the worst ways to go. Being trapped. Or buried alive. Because you wouldn't even know what time it was, man. Imagine being in a mm. coffin, like you know when you see films and they put you in a coffin and bury you alive. Because you're just there for days. Yeah. In the pitch black, laying down. Yeah. It's like that. when have you, have you seen that? You, you, no, <laughs> Alex. Big. You can barely breathe. Wow. Well, just one inch punch guess, yourself out, like kill Bill. I guess the oxygen would like Obviously. eventually run out. Yeah. You'd lose it off. That's mad, isn't it? That's why yeah, people, you suffocate. Mental. Go in there. That's mental. Don't yeah, do that, it. Don't go in there. Yeah, that's bonkers. Rescue attempts uh, switched the focus on creating a new shaft to release Floyd, and 75 men started working around the clock to dig the shaft. Meanwhile, a media frenzy had begun, and rumours about the cave incident started swirling with reports it had all been a hoax by Floyd to bring in tourists to his cave. Um, some even claimed... He'd been leaving the cave each night. <laughs> yeah, through the back door. No <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just, just took his shoe off. He was fine. Yeah, if you're going any deeper, there's actually a bar in the back. <laughs> Vintage wines. Battered every day. <laughs> That's why he can't get up. Yeah, he's <laughs> smashed. Just, too long yeah. over. Yeah. Um, rain and freezing weather slowed progress on the shaft and rescuers uh, weren't able to reach Floyd until February 16th but they were too late. That afternoon, they finally broke through to a sand cave passage, but discovered Floyd was dead. Rough. No oh, shit. Yeah. No sounds came from Collins at all. No respiration, no movement, and the eyes were sunken, indicating, according to physicians, extreme exhaustion going with starvation. Rescuers reported, according to the Kentucky National Guard, Medics initially estimated Floyd, who had been without food or drink for nearly two weeks, had been dead for 24 hours by the time he was found. But later estimates estimates range from three to five days. I was going to um, say, can you last week about long he suffered? Yeah, it's about two or three days, I think, isn't it? Yeah, I don't think it's very long. I think it's a week without food, or like two weeks it's, without it food, maybe. It could be like two or three weeks, I think, yeah. yeah. Two or three weeks without food. But, um, but yeah, not Walter. Oh, that's <laughs> man. Is there any more? Yeah. Yeah, there's a bit more. Uh, so for three to five days, that's they also estimated three to five days. 
Exactly how long he suffered remains unknown. Floyd's body was still stuck uh, by the rock pinning his foot uh, and with rescue teams concluding it would have been too dangerous to remove him, his family initially agreed to leave him inside the cave. You know, Christ. It's like his tomb as well. Um, but the story doesn't end there and what happened to Floyd's body is a bizarre tale in its own right. For Floyd's family later decided to remove his body from the cave and in April tw 1925 he was finally freed and laid to rest on his family's farm. Uh, there's a little bit more. There's a picture of his headstone. Can't see him though. Um, picture his head? <laughs> what are you going to say? <laughs> <laughs> just, sticking out, just sticking out the end of a cave. <laughs> I thought he'd want to be cremated. He's probably sick of being stuck in the ground, isn't he? I don't suppose he probably he, he thought about that much. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm, sure is. I'm sure you'd get there and go, well, I'm going to die, oh, so I should probably I think, think about other things. Do you know what I mean? I don't want to yeah, go. Did he write Couldn't tell anyone, but... Yeah. <laughs> Talking to himself. <laughs> oh. But two years later, uh, when they sold the property, the new owner decided to exhume his body and place it in a glass-topped coffin in the centre of Crystal Cave, so visitors would flock to see him, and they did. Pretty in sick. September 1927, um, there was an unusual attempt to steal Floyd's body, but his second attempt in March 20, uh, 1929 was successful. Bloodhounds were used to trace Floyd's body to the banks of the Green River, and authorities brought him back to Crystal Cave, but somewhere in the process he'd lost a leg. <laughs> So. <laughs> uh, it ends with I think it yeah ends with saying in 1961 the National Park Service purchased Crystal Cave and restricted access to Floyd's body and in 1989 the cave explorer was given a final burial at Mammoth Cave Baptist Church ah. in mental imagine being <laughs> stuck down there for 17 days because like you'd be hoping wouldn't you you'd be hoping maybe for the I first thought... week or so if yeah, they reckon after that Sorry. Yeah, no man. I was just gonna say, like, <laughs> for the first week or so, you've been thinking, oh, it probably won't be that bad. I'll be able to get out of here soon, and then they I think, up. I think after a week, you'd be so f delirious. Yeah, and you would have a f yeah, you wouldn't be on the same planet. You'd be so f out within like four days of not the f within three days of not having water or food. You'd be so f delirious. You wouldn't know what was going on. You yeah. coming out of consciousness, you'd be like, you wouldn't be in this of, of this realm anymore. You'd be well, well away, I reckon. Yeah, yeah, you'd have been, yeah, just lost your mind, really. But you? yeah, the first, the first, the first day would be the worst. I reckon the first, like 127 hours. I reckon the first eight hours is the worst because you. That's when you try and get yourself free. You're trying to think of things to. You're probably when you're calmest as well because you're trying to rationally think. Yeah. How to get it? But once you realise there's no getting out that's when you start to really panic and then i reckon you just after that you just calm down naturally because you just accept it sort of thing i think yeah i think you'd go in and out of phases wouldn't you of like it doesn't make it easy you'd be angry i think sometimes you cry like you, know, you do all them things depending on how, how bad you was hurt obviously yeah but i reckon you just fade away you do you'd be was he upside down or does it say it doesn't really. If you're upside say. down, you you die quickly because the blood would just flood your brain. Yeah, he wouldn't be able to survive 17 days. I imagine he was just laying down. I think he was. Oh, yeah, if you're laying he, down, he, yeah, yeah, fallen or something, and um, his his he, leg was his arm was stuck. Was, oh, yeah, the, yeah, his yeah. leg was stuck. Yeah. Yeah, that's because yeah, because you'd be able to have all them faults. And if if you weren't in, the pain would stop eventually, wouldn't it? Your body would get used to the pain or whatever. Well, it'd probably cut off your circulation. Yeah, yeah, yeah you'd lose your leg. Yeah, anyway. But that's what I'm saying. So you'd um, you'd, maybe uh, that was where they lost his leg. <laughs> maybe. Bad joke. Bad joke. <laughs> <laughs> Another Lord of the Rings reference, though. Legless. Yeah, I was gonna say we've got Gollum <laughs> and Legless. <laughs> There's old Gimli and my axe. <laughs> <laughs> um. That was a good story, Will. Yeah. Thanks, man. It looked a bit I different, like but still from a tatty newspaper, so. Yeah. Um, up, is, yeah. Upper, more upper brow than I would have thought it is for, for that newspaper. Quite informative as well, don't you think? Yeah, it was. That might Quite be the one good egg that, like, Cons he really wants yeah. to be a reporter, but he's, he can only get a job there for the time being. And they're, like, yeah, berating he's just him. Come like out of uni or something. Yeah, like, he comes out and he's really smart, and all the others are like, <laughs> Like the like the one from um, Afterlife, Ricky Gervais, the fat one is just eating it. Like you're f 
you nerd, like. <laughs> this bird's got a <laughs> tits out right about that, like. This woman got done by, like, three aliens. And he's like, okay. I reckon that's what's happened there. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think you might be right there, man. Shout out to that journalist. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, um. But that was it. Oh, he, he's lost yeah, his leg. Yeah, so he, that, that was it. He died down there. Bad, bad, uh... Bad time, really. Bad time for him. Yeah. I don't think he enjoyed it. There is a picture no, of him. I can't imagine he did. I don't know if it's him stuck. I can't imagine it is, but he's in like a tiny crack laying down. Like, he, hmm. it, he can just about fit his head. Thumbs up? Thing, or... and it's all... uh, yeah, I can't see his arms, actually. Oh. I'd, have to, I'd have to say something proper sick. If I knew I was going to die, and I was, I was like, <laughs> just me, like, how are you doing? And they're shouting down. I'd be like, Oh, you know, just oh, I'm fine actually. Just hanging around. Yeah, hanging around. Stop, oh, stop between oh, a rock and a hard yes. place. Like. Yeah, that's what I'd say. Like you, you'd have to, wouldn't you? Because that'd be ever immortalised within your. Yeah. Just like, yeah. It's like when Arnie, when Terminator puts his thumb up in the lava. <laughs> yeah, you'd like, have to do something. Yeah, you wouldn't say like witty, wouldn't you? You'd yeah. have to say something proper sick. Yeah. So he he didn't. So uh, missed opportunity. Feeling, just feeling quite down at the moment. Quite down. Sort of stuck. <laughs> I'm stuck, really. It's all very, it's all very. My life just feels quite dark at the moment. Do you, do you need, do you need anything? Food? You could, you can put on some rock music, could you? <laughs> <laughs> Get a PS One. I want to play Tomb Raider. Like. Yeah. Josh, Josh, how you doing? Oh, I'm <laughs> stoned. <laughs> I know for a fact you'd, put, you'd bring a fair amount of that down there, wouldn't you? Oh, you'd try and hop off like, the whole cave. You'd be like, do you want food? And I'd be like, no. <laughs> Send the Mac One down. In a basket. And then you give it away down and I'll go, well, obviously roll it, though. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, what's this star dog? Yeah. <laughs> Fire. <laughs> yeah, so, that's what we can do. Uh, you know, turn a, a fairly miserable story into some light-hearted trickery. Yeah, yeah. I like that. That's one of our, that's one of our better qualities. That's um, what we can do. So if we, can if, I... you know, if any... If any bigger companies, you know, we're getting some some profile now. If any bigger companies are looking at looking at three new fellas uh, to host a radio program, then uh, we might be your guys. Okay. If you if you want us to fight to the death, um, we'll, only one victor will do that as well. <laughs> yeah. If that's what and it if takes. You want ten percent off. Ten percent off anything. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, can I have a crack? And I'd quite like to do my evaluation. Go, Go for, for it, man. Yeah. I like that. Um, I really know. I did really like the story. It was uh, it was quite highbrow. Um, even though we did, we travelled off in a few, a few areas of the pod. But I think I think it it adds the the sustenance. Um, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say this is life because because of what I said about the, well, what what we've made up about the writer or the editor. Um, I hope that is the case. And um, I actually didn't, apart from it being really poorly written, he might, he might be uh, dyslexic, um, but he's, got, he's definitely got a brain in there somewhere. Um, <laughs> Can't smell his own I'm name, joking. though, can he? No, I mean, the spe- no, you his know heart's what? in the right place. Do you know what? His I, brain's know, not. Ma- I know many people that can't spell that are very, very intelligent. So, um, uh, yeah, I'm going to say this is life because I think, I think, and uh, I think it is, there was nothing in there to me that was unbelievable. Yeah, it was all it was all written, you know, uh well. To be honest. There was no there was, UFOs, there was no There was tight time stamps, wasn't there? There was there's pictures yeah. to prove it. He didn't he like, didn't get saved by mermaids or like they went there and the body no. wasn't there anymore. Like even like do you know what I mean? Like the body was always there, it didn't go missing. Yeah. Um he hadn't disappeared. Yeah, it's no. Just, it's I, just one uh, of those real life stories that's genuinely quite interesting, isn't it? Like a lot of sort of circumstantial weird stuff happens like Apparently, there's even stuff about what happened to his body after he died, turned into a bit of a cave martyr. And, and, they, and, and they didn't have to go down that route. Um, no. So, yeah, I'm going to say this is life, definitely. Yeah, man. What about you, Alex? You got any, uh, you got any opinions, funny shit to say? Or... Yeah. When, 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 oh, God. Rewind. Um. <laughs> um, when was this? 1920. Uh, yeah, it was around that time. 1920s, 1923, was it? 
Yeah, so in it just says in the nineteen twenties in Kentucky it was known uh, as an era known as the cave wars. So local people like trying to find the best spots and they could bring in tourists to. Now it sounds to me like being a paper like the Daily Star, mm. they have run out that week of tat. Um <laughs> So they've dug in the archives to find something that can go, this might make us a little bit more uh, refined in a way yeah. to a broader audience that want to know about this caver that they might not have heard of before uh, instead of just, you know, my dog got trapped in a wheelie bin. You know, stuff like that. Yeah. So I think that it's... Uh, on that basis... Because it's such an odd story to come from that that tabloid. Yeah, this mm. is life. Yeah, I respect that. You think it's 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 too good almost, but um, it's it it, it has been in that paper. Yeah, it didn't have I a place think... in that paper. Yeah, it's yeah. I know what you mean. It's actually interesting and and true. Yeah, and I think um, that's that's why I'm gonna go. This is life. But it does say um. It does say the journalist's name, and then you, it's by this person of a US news reporter. So I wonder if they've just taken not another story. It, but... That's what yeah. I mean. That's what I mean. They've dug through the archives because they've got nothing. Else. Yeah, they found something. So yeah, they found they've something. Not done, they've not done a good job. They've just sort of maybe transcribed some words, oh, yeah. added a little bit extra and stuff. But it's, it's still the same daily tat that we're used to and we're, we're happy to read out. Yeah. Um, okay. Fair enough. I mean, yeah, I, I, I'm, I, I'm of the same opinion of you guys. Definitely think this is life. It's, it just seems to me like one of those, um, almost like a, like a YouTuber that you like listening to does like interesting stories, and you go, oh, you click on that video, and it's something yeah, that like stays in your head, you know? Yeah. Yeah, clickbait, but it's, it's sort of, it's interesting. It's, I imagine yeah, it's yeah, true. Yeah. This is shit I listen to. I think is true. <laughs> Clickbait <laughs> sounds like all of our YouTube shorts. <laughs> that's true enough. Yeah. It does. Enough. It does actually. Yeah. Which are very funny. Yeah. Shout out to Alex yeah. for sorting them out. Yeah, yeah. He does. Right. He does all that. All that in his little room. Yeah. So he's like, our, he's our like, producer. Like Gollum. Like Gollum. Yeah. <laughs> do you boys, like do you boys want to have a crack before we wrap it up at, at Gollum noises? Because we we all know I'm the best, but. Yeah, I think so. Uh, I've probably heard Alex. Do... Oh. <laughs> no, you gotta say goodbye. Let's, let's, uh, goodbye. let's say goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> if you come from a different planet, you. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Actually, I might be doing Doctor Who. Doctor Who. Sorry. <laughs> well, not in my Gollum voice, but it will come. Go check out the Twitter. Well, Gollum will. Said the yeah, little boy. <laughs> <laughs> that's, what that's what he'd sound like. I'm that's gonna pass. <laughs> <laughs> I'm arriving. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna cram. <laughs> um, but go check out the Twitter at This Isn't Life Pod. Check us out on Good Pods. If you've got Good Pods, Good Pods is a good Ooh. thing. Find loads of podcasts on there and us, more importantly. So Absolutely. Where are we now on the, on, the, on the top 100? Oh, I don't know. I haven't got that yeah, information at the moment. Probably gone, got, probably gone up another 20 paces, no cool. doubt. Top 100, though. I yeah. wonder if, if we've moved up far. That's uh, that's that's shout out to Parky, to be fair. Yeah. <laughs> I'm kind of Parky. hoping we don't. I'm kind of hoping we fall dramatically so we haven't got over Monaghan. Uh, yeah. Well, so we're in, we feel like we're interested enough. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm, not, I'm not sharing royalties four ways. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> but, no. boys. I wonder where he is now. Is he on a flight or... <laughs> he's, probably, yeah, he's, he's probably midway just, over the Atlantic, isn't he? arriving into Atlantic. <laughs> <laughs> the weather is uh, uh, cloudy and <laughs> just, miserable. Just landed his 747, isn't he? <laughs> yeah. That's what he's doing. <laughs> but also, boys, there is something that we haven't mentioned. What can people do to give us a little con they, uh, a content? What, what can they, they send do? In they some... can join our Patreon. They can send it. They, to they can't do well, that. Before they do that, we can't have a <laughs> oh. Patreon until they start sending in stories. There is that. Oh, because oh, we're stories. not we're not going to give you extra stuff because I'm not taking more time out of my precious week if people are not even going to bother to yeah. participate. Do I feel you know like a teacher. Are? 
Start Hopefully, I'm not wasting we're away. Doing this right around, <laughs> we're doing this right around dinner time. It's like yeah. I've been stuck in a cave for 12 hours. I know how he feels. <laughs> What's his name? <laughs> Flug or whatever his name was. Yeah. yeah. Flu, yeah. <laughs> Emerald or Jewel or something. <laughs> um, Amos. Yeah. S- send in some... Amos. Send some... <laughs> Apollo. <laughs> send in some <laughs> stories, you clowns. Maybe Greg. Oh, oh, actually, before we go... Greg? Um, yeah, my, my good friend Greg, who uh, sent in... Uh, oh, told Greg. me that he... Yeah, Greg. Um, he, so said, oh, he said, "Oh, my mate from my mate from work who told him about the pod. He's called Nathan Harris. So, Nathan, oh, chat, Harris, Nathan Harris, maybe um, Thank you very much. maybe you send us a story from your your childhood. But if you or if you've mentally blocked your childhood out, then send us one from your teens. Um, yeah, you could do Greg. that. I'm sure Greg's got some naughty stories. We used to chat about a lot of shit. So, um, have you guys thought about putting your own stories in anonymously?" No, I have thought about. No, because mine get plastered all over this pod anyway. <laughs> well, that's why you're here, mate. Why, why well, else do you think you're here? Exactly, but I, I can't. You've got all my good stories now. I can't. I can't be making. No, I don't up. believe that. I don't believe <laughs> no, that. No, there are some more. I'm sure. But <laughs> everywhere that we are, you can find the link. Just go on the link tree, and you'll see. Submit your story. It's a Google form. Fill that out, honestly or not. And uh, there yeah. you go. Yeah, we don't have to mention your name or whatever. We can keep it completely anonymous. Yeah, uh, it can be as debauched and ridiculous or horrific as possible, and we'll, we'll just, find a way to laugh about it. And we'll just Facebook you, Instagram you, and all laugh co- collectively in a room together. Yeah, and go. Hey, yeah, we this won't. Is this is the we, disgusting psychopath that we've got. To we won't about. read out uh, your name when we're actually reading the story, but what we will do is we'll tag you on Instagram and stuff so people know it's you. Yeah, we'll stalk your. We'll stalk <laughs> yeah. you and your family as well. <laughs> yeah. We'll find yeah. out every move you make, every <laughs> breath you take. We'll, we'll be, be watching, watching you. you. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, we won't. We won't. I ain't got time for that. Let's uh, channel my inner inner Schmeagel. Um, oh, we're all doing it together. Oh no, uh, Will's gone, isn't he? Mine. Will's gone. Uh, mine, yeah. God, prizes. Oh, that's sounds not like bad. Steve from Big Mouth. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah. not bad. It's more, more stitched, I mean. And that means family. Isn't it? Oh, yeah. More, well, more that, stitch, that really. The same. My, yeah. my stitch and my golem are very similar. So that's. I think you put your tongue to the roof of your mouth. That's how I do it anyway. Like, yeah, and use your throat. Oh, yeah, sort of. it's yeah, use the back of your throat. That's good, man. That is really good. Yeah, it's the only two I can do. Anything that's like they haven't got a tongue. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Anything yeah. that like... Yeah. So, yeah, okay. so Go- Gollum, if you need Gollum, if you want a birthday shout-out or anything to your mates and stag do or something, me as Gollum, uh, terrorising them, or me as even um, Stitch as well, I can I can do that. Yeah, a little cash in hand, a little job there yeah. on the weekends. Yeah, so, yeah. Anyway, boys. Right. <clears throat> nice. Well, nice. Josh, you, you, haven't, you cool. haven't done your Gollum. Oh, you haven't, you haven't we, we've... Gollum. We've... Oh. Um... Goodbye, stupid hobbits. <laughs> 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 uh, well, I'm not. I'm okay. not performing clown either. So, <laughs> do it for me, monkey. <laughs> <laughs> um, I know we don't really pass the baton anymore, but just so I know, cause I do like. I do like to entertain and 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 keep up with appearances. So, who are who is next week? Do you want to do it, mate? Do you want to do it? Oh, I thought you'd never ask. Yeah, I'll do it. Oh. I'll do it. <laughs> well, yeah. But got, you have I've, to do the whole thing in a golem. Before. I've actually got a user submission, <laughs> but like, it's not their story. Um, it's someone from okay. work who suggested a story to me. Um, I won't give you the title, but the title is funny, funny enough. But um, yeah, it's a good right. one. It's, yeah, it's a good one. So um, yeah, thank All you, right. boys. I'll, I'll do this until week. next week nicely. Thank you very much. Yeah. yeah. All right, beautiful. Well, I will see you all later. Adieu. Bye. Yeah, yeah, next week, boys. Bye now. Bye. Bye.